a psychological trauma is a damage to the mind that occurs as a result of a distressing event or a series of events but is it the event that defines whether it becomes a trauma or not let's say loss of one of the parents let's say getting beaten up once when we were law small children let's say the hand got burned when i attempted to touch the gas stove so is it the event which creates the trauma and here lies a brilliant insight trauma is the result of an overwhelming amount of stress trauma is the result of an overwhelming amount of stress that exceeds one's capability to cope with the emotions involved at that point of time has any one of you gone through one round of intense exercise at the end of which your body felt sore you have right and you might know some people who do more exercise than that yet they don't have soreness in the body so the way one person has more capability hence soreness does not happen similarly all of us have something called the emotional capability when i go through an experience where i do not have the capability to handle the emotions i get overwhelmed by the emotions this is what leads to trauma so there are times when somebody comes to know that they have cancer and they might just disintegrate and there will be times when somebody knows that they have cancer they take 2 3 days but for 2 3 days they are traumatized after 2 3 days they want to take it head on and there are some who will remain petrified with the idea of having got cancer no cancer does not cause trauma cancer is an event cancer is an experience it is my capability to deal with an event or my incapability to deal with an event that causes me trauma so how you and me have handled the events of our life or how we perceived that event defines whether we have trauma or not your important employee threatens to leave you now this can be traumatizing because you get scared are baap re ye chala jayega kaam kaise hoga and you suddenly realize oh my god i will have to do so much work or you may realize you were underpaying him and now a replacement that you find might be very very costly now all this leads to oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god you're not able to sleep that night you get a little scared you want somebody to go and talk with them so that they can continue to stay with you your mood goes for a toss it becomes a small trauma way on the other hand how somebody perceives it as so you perceive it as a loss you perceive it as a huge loss then it creates stress in you then it becomes traumatic for you but imagine that you are not perceiving it as a loss imagine you perceive it as an indication in the right direction what is the indication i want to create my organization which is process driven and it is not driven by an individual individuals may come individuals may go but we have a process for everything my processes are so strong 
and people have been trained to follow that process so well that my organization can survive the leaving of even the top people there is a company called general electric it has been around for more than 200 years and for 200 years it has been one of the most admired leadership factories in the world there is a company called hindustan unilever absolute blue chip it is also called as the ceo factory in our country there are more people who have worked with hindustan unilever who have gone on to become ceos of india's top 500 companies than any other company has produced hindustan unilever you have companies like mrf making of tires and a share price is like 40000 rupees let individuals come and go the organization is so beautifully process driven it is not dependent on an individual so how do i perceive that event i perceive that event as a threat to the peaceful life i am living that person's presence allowed me to relax since that person was there uh i could take it easy i i, I could reduce my burden and now when that person is going away oh my god what will happen to me i know some of them like some of us over here when we cross the age of 50 by that time we have some people in the organization that we largely depend on for many work and now when that person says i'm going to leave it it shakes us because we have just begun to relax in our life after working hard for 25 30 years now this person is going oh my god i have to start working all that that regular work again and it becomes traumatizing at the same time somebody who visualizes themselves to work for the next 25 years might say are abhi to bahut time hai yaar chal 5 saal mein na 3 saal mein na 2 saal mein na एकदम मस्त प्रोसेस ड्रिवन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बनाते हैं मतलब मजा आ जाएगा हाउ आई परसीव एन इवेंट एंड माई केपेबिलिटी टू हैंडल इमोशन दैट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड डिफाइंस ट्रॉमा फॉर देर फॉर इवन दो सिचुएशन में बी द सेम बट ट्रॉमा इज डिफरेंट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी इंडिविजुअल depending on our age our gender our environment our support system our self belief trauma may result from a single experience or it might be a recurring chain of events that happened in our life for example if we have an angry father at home now trauma may not be because of a single event it might be because of a recurring chain of events and the environment that got created my trauma can be because somebody was never there to care for me whenever i needed to talk or celebrate or discuss or just share i found myself to be alone so repeatedly small small event small small event small fall event but it built up to become a trauma and shaped the personality of me so sometimes trauma can be a single event an accident that you witnessed the loss of a person whom you love love a lot a financial debacle a trust that you had which got played upon so trauma can be a single event or trauma can be a series of events that happened across a period of time now whatever trauma is it creates psychological damage as we grew up we did not have the capability to handle the emotions of certain events like how much do we know or remember of when we were 5 years old a few flashes of memory here and there but let's say if you were beaten up 5 times when we were 5 year old 
और वी वर शाउटेड एट वेरी बैडली और आई वॉज नॉट बीटन एंड आई वॉज नॉट शाउटेड एट बट देर वॉज एन इन्वायरमेंट ऑफ पनिशमेंट इन माई हाउस लेट से आई हैव सीन माई नाइन ईयर ओल्ड ब्रदर बींग बीटन अप एंड बींग पनिश्ड आई हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू इट बट द इन्वायरमेंट वॉज सच एंड आई वॉज जस्ट फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड जस्ट फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड बट एज माई ब्रदर इज गेटिंग बीटन अप आई एम स्केर्ड ओ माई गॉड वॉट इफ आई गेट बीटन As my brother is getting beaten up, I might be thinking about, "Oh my God, I should never do a mistake." As my brother is getting beaten up, I am thinking, "Oh my God, I should never upset this person." Personally, to me, nothing happened, but the environment was such that it led to trauma. Do I remember when I was five years old and all this happens? No, I did not. I remember it as as an intense discomfort when I have to face certain situations. And that is why it is called subconscious damage. I may not remember the event, but I know something seems to hold me back. I see some people bindas and I'm not able to be bindas. Maybe because I've been told so many times, "Tarike saro, tarike saro, tarike saro." And let's say if my younger sister was a little flamboyant, and as she would laugh loudly at the dining table, I saw twice my mother use a scale and hit her on the lips, and it kind of traumatized me. Oh my God! If I laugh loudly, oof. I should not. I should not. I should not. When I grow up, I might admire somebody's laughter, and I want to be free. But something deep inside me holds me back and said, "No, not for me." And I also feel a little low about myself. I also think, "Kya hai yar? Itna simple chiz hai karna chiz hai tere ko? Kyon nahi kar sakta?" And I don't know what is holding me back. But I tell myself, "Ha, one day we will do it." I don't know. It's not in my nature, and I feel a little low about myself because of that. So subconscious trauma is. I know something is holding me back. I might justify it in different ways, but I admire the quality, the same quality others have, which I don't have. Then it is guaranteed. that there are some subconscious traumas that i'm holding on to which is causing that damage to me i repeat all of us are damaged goods all of us are damaged goods so what is subconscious trauma it is not having memory of a certain event subconscious trauma does not involve a memory if it involves a memory it becomes a conscious trauma subconscious trauma you can understand its presence based on how you respond to a particular situation the belief or the habits that result in a behavior and you are not even aware why do you behave this way it's like riding a car with one puncture tire one but one tire which is punctured and i'm thinking yaar ek tire aur acha hota na to bahut momentum aata and unfortunately often the subconscious trauma is about not even realizing that the car is not able to go fast just because of a punctured tire and you are crossing tens of puncture shops if only you knew that you have a puncture tire you can go and get it rectified unfortunately you don't even know that you have a puncture tire and you are thinking shayad yahi meri kismat hai 
शायद मेरी किस्मत से ना 20 किलोमीटर से ज्यादा लिखा ही नहीं एंड इफ यू न्यू अबाउट द पंक्चर टायर्ड यू कुड हैव गॉन एट 80 100 किलोमीटर बट यू डोंट इन मे बी वंस इन सिक्स मंथ्स इट कम्स आउट एज अ बर्स्ट ऑफ टीयर्स मे बी इन वंस इन टू इयर्स इट कम्स आउट एज अ बर्स्ट ऑफ हैंग but since i process it in a particular way that burst does not heal me it only gives me a temporary relief the burst does not heal me it only gives me a temporary relief 